Hello everyone, Oli Techboy is here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a paper Minecraft server on 1.19 on Oracle Always Free MPS server. For the first step, you will need to sign up for an Oracle Cloud account which require a credit card or debit card. I already done the sign up process and logged in as you can see. Once you are logged into your Oracle Cloud account, go to the tree bar, go to compute, go to instances, click create instance. Name your instance, for me I'll name it Test Minecraft Server 1.19 For image and shape, click edit, click change image Change to canonical Ubuntu, select the image For the shape, click change shape Click ampere Click this VM standard A1 flex Select two CPU Keep the memory at 12 gig. Save the private key. This is very important. Click create. While waiting for the VM creation, you can save your key to somewhere safe and convert the key. I'll be copying the key. Close the downloads folder. I will creating a folder. I'll name it server key. Click this key. Paste the key. Close the server key folder. Then I'll be using party gen to convert my key. Go to conversion, import key. Navigate to the server key directory, which it already navigated for me. Click on save private key. It'll warn you. That you are saving the key with your passphrase. Press yes. Name it. Name your key. I name it Minecraft test. Click save. Close party gen. Wait for the server to provision. This will take some time. And now the server is running. The next step is to set the ports on the Oracle side. Go to subnet. This is the important part, the port forwarding at the Oracle site. Go to default security list. This is the firewall you need at the ports. Go to add ingress rule. Type 0 that 0 that 0 that 0 slash 0. TCP, the port is 25565 for Minecraft. Then click Another ingress rule, the same thing goes to the source CDIR 0.0.0.0 slash 0. The IP protocol should be UDP. Destination port is 25565. Click add ingress rule. Add other ports for your other plugins such as Dynamap if needed. After which, you can now go and log in to your server. Click back, back to refer to your instance page IP address. Go to party, copy the IP address from the instance page. Then go to data. The username is Ubuntu SSH off browse. And select your private key you converted. Go to session, name it as Minecraft, and save. Then press open to open the SSH connection. Click accept. Once you're logged in, the next step is to pop forward your server site. To do this, go to Copy this command, sudo ip tables input, enter this as well, this to open 25565 for Minecraft. This is most important for Minecraft client to connect to the server. As the server has its own ports to open, not just the Oracle firewall site. Do the same thing as your other plugins. Then sudo net filter proxy save to save the configuration. Then sudo net filter persist reload to reload the new configuration. Then finally sudo 
IP tables F to flush the IP tables. Wait, let's reload. I mean, flush the IP tables. After which, install Java, sudo app get update and sudo app get upgrade to update to the latest package so that you'll find Java. This will take a while, so be patient. Press Y to continue the downloads and installation. Enter. After which, install Java on the server. sudo app get install open JDK. 17 JDK open JDK 17 JRE for the Java. We should need to run the Minecraft server on. Press Y to continue and let the Java installation begin. Press Enter. Finally, the Minecraft server set up. Make DIR Minecraft. Followed by CD Minecraft. After which, you can now go to the paper website, paper Java website. Right click on the latest release and click copy link address. Go back to the console. Enter, we get paste the URL for the download link. Then space dash O paper dot jar let it download once you're done the next command is to open up the java which will generate the e u l a text for you to agree later run that let it download this will take some time you will get an error message saying that about the e u l a we'll be fixing it later you get this failed to Look, EULA text. Next command is nano.eula.txt. Edit the file from false to true. Press Ctrl Save and Ctrl X to leave the nano text editor. Now, the last command is screen Java XMS 4G XMX. 4G jar paper dot jar. This will keep the server for running even if you close the SSH window. Let the server run. This will take a while, so please be patient. While waiting, I'll be opening up my Minecraft client. Now the server is done opening, I'll be opening up my Minecraft client. Loading my Minecraft client, this will take a lot of time, so be patient, especially with slower computers. Click multiplayer, direct connection. I'll be copying and pasting the Minecraft server IP, which is the public IP address of the server. Paste my IP address. Let's see where it connects to the server. Yeah, it's connecting. And the server is running fine. I can show you the reason why the screen command exists. I'll close the console, close the session, and reconnect to the server. And the Minecraft server is still running even the SSH window has been closed. I can show you if you need to access the console again. Go to Party, load the things you just save. open, to access the console, type screen, ls, so this and this of screen, then type screen, dash x, copy this name to this place by right clicking, and boom, you get back your console. Let's say you can want to opt yourself, I can just give OP Oli Gamer 
boy, I give myself OP, example of the server commands. You can do other server commands like enabling whitelisting and whatsoever commands if you need to. But let's say you want to install plugins or uploading a world. The first thing to do is to enter stop command onto the console. Let the server stop. This will take some time. Once the screen is terminating, you can safely access the file system of the server. To do this, open Fusa, go to File, Site Manager, go to New Site. Okay, I have to delete my old site. Click New Site. I name it Minecraft. Select SFTP. Host is your public IP address of your server. Port is 22. Logon type, key file. Username is Ubuntu. Key file. Select the file you just converted. Click on connect. Go to Minecraft. See, you can access all the files, including your world file. Let me show you how to import your worlds. First is to delete your existing world file. This will take some time. Then it delete. It will take some time. Once the world file is deleted, go to your world locations, which is app data, Minecraft saves. Press Ctrl R to run. Paste the directory, press OK. I have I'm going to rename this world as well. My test world as well. Rename. I name it world. Then drag and drop to the Minecraft folder. Let it download the world to the server. This will take some time. Once you're done with it, you can close the saves folder. Now, let's say you want to install a plugin. Open a plugin folder. Drag and drop your plugin folder. Your whatever plugins you need. I have my plugins in my folder I created and downloaded. I'll be downloading Chris Tree Capacitor to the server. Once say transfer finish, you can now close Fusa and go back to your party window enter cd minecraft to go back to the minecraft servers folder followed by screen java xms 4g xmx 4g jar paper jar to start the server again wait for the server to start this will take some time so be patient Division, let the world load. Once the server done starting, connect the server again. I can show you that my server is working. Boom. And now I got the Chris Tree capacitor and the world file has been uploaded successfully. I can show you the, the plug is working as you can see. I can give. I can now give uh, myself an X, since I already OP myself. Only gamer boy. X. I'll take a uh, iron X to show you that the plugin works. I give myself an X already, since I already OP myself at the server. I want to demonstrate the plugins functionality has already uploaded. For certain plugins, you have to do the port forwarding process which I covered in the previous parts. Boom! The plugin works. Port. Okay, this concludes the tutorial video on how to set up Paper 1.19 server on Oracle Cloud Free and Peer Server. I really hope you enjoy my tutorial video. Please like, share, and comment on my video. Subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you again in another video soon. Bye for now.